putting out our sandwich board for the first day of our continuous run for the rest of our lives. Yes. So we are open. For questions? Questions, purchases, conversation. I'm drinking coffee, so even coffee. <laughs> All right, April 24th, we're on people, we're on. Hope to see you. Good morning. It is April 24th and it is our first Monday of the new season and our full time. It's not a pop-up shop. It's not just for Christmas. We are all the time now. So we normally won't be open Mondays and Tuesdays, but for our opening grand opening week, I wanted to be the open the entire week. So no matter when you're working or what's going on in your life, you'll be able to get here this week and see what we've done. So I'm going to walk you around a little bit and show you what's up, what we've done, um, what changes have happened, what new products, what old products we have. Well, I guess they're not old products, well, antiques and vintage, but yeah, so I'm going to start here at the front door. So I'm going to flip my camera. So of course, when you enter, so you enter through our front door and you see the beautiful new tile floor with our address on. Um, very classic, lots of fun. Then we have our market bags that you can take and shop with, or they're for sale, it's up to you. So you walk down the hall here, and then we have our grab umbrellas there, and then our art starts. Beautiful tree, or a hall tree, and then some Nova Scotia folk art. I have my plants. Come on, everybody, you need plants. We have some beautiful lanterns for summer. I actually have a set of four of these available. Um, we have more plants. We have this guy. This is an artist out of um, Waterloo, Ontario, and he actually makes these old books into key hooks. And there's a little hook to hang it on your wall at the back. And they're all fun titles. We have our beautiful handmade ornaments from um, a wonderful woman in Lunenburg. And then we have our cards and flowers that have been coming in the last couple days. Of everybody congratulating us. And then here's my front cash, the penny tile that you probably saw video of. Well, the penny, penny tile, I guess. And then we have some lanterns, some art, more flowers. And then this is just my little table for wrapping um, packages. Then we have our beautiful Provincial stickers to show your pride, no matter what Atlantic province or Ontario, um, where you're from. And then just some simple stickers. And then we have more of those gorgeous ornaments. We have some magnets. We have some patches. Then we get into our kind of mantique section or just more masculine things and we have our beer soaps back this season so i'm restocked of those we have some great vintage or retro and even a couple antique beer steins we have some great uh horn combs made out of uh, antler and we have some beard oils and vintage shaving things and then we have our our drinking glassware 
And we have a few books on breweries and brewing. Oh, I should show you this one. These are really neat. These have, let's see if I can catch it in the camera. I have two. So if you put it up to the light and look through, you see a lady in the porcelain. Isn't that neat? So that's a cute little surprise when you are uh, finish your drink. So we have a bunch of those. We always have a well-stocked supply of lamps, so ask about our lamps. We have some art. This is a local man named Dean Martin. He does these beautiful drawings of old building. I'm sorry I'm getting reflections on that one. But you should come in and see the collection that we have of his. Our little child bee rocker that if you watch our YouTube, you would see I have a YouTube video about. Then we have our gorgeous soapstones. More plants. I love plants. And then we have our salt and pepper section. Then we have our Japanese obis. And some extra little furniture bits. The handmade quilts. I have tons of handmade quilts and afghans. We have sort of the game section. Children and game section. So we have lots of goodies there. Then we turn the corner and it's our candle area in this beautiful um, Mennonite made piece, step back cabinet. And these are hand rolled here in the shop. Those are handmade by David and I. So then we have our Nova Scotia salts made from seawater and they are delicious and they're samples this is sort of my crystal or black and gray section with a touch of white oh we have a visitor michonne is checking the place out as well this morning I have our trinket boxes. Hello. Our shoe stretcher section. We have tons of these. No matter what kind you collect, we have some. And then I have the travel section. It's sort of Asia. And a little bit of Africa. Items from travels. Then we have our, our blue and white Dutch items and Holland. And then on the other side, we have some vintage style aprons. Oh, we have these great, a great collection of Campbell soup items from the mid 90s back to i think the 60s is the earliest we have some great vintage cookbooks and then we have some newer products just some souvenir items the airport code mug so i have north sydney i have halifax and for all my ontario friends i have toronto and then i have the um, uh, pendants, oh my god, it's, it's early on a Monday, I apologize, my brain isn't working, and I have Nova Scotia, and I have PEI, we have some great just like basic mugs, and I have back our um, birdhouses made in Botwood, Newfoundland by a wonderful man there, 
So this is the church that he made for us. We have some tableware, a whole basket of vintage cookie cutters. There's so many cute ones in there. Then we have our beautiful handmade 1940s moose handmade rug from Nova Scotia. We have these coveralls. There are multi covers. They could be a tablecloth or a throw or a blanket, whatever you need. And then we have these handmade uh, dish towel and hand drying sets, handmade in Newfoundland. It comes with a cloth and a, a hanger to hang on your your doorknob or oven handle to dry your hands in the kitchen. Then we have our um, Sandham Woodcraft boards are back. And we do have the Blake Butter to keep your boards moist and uh, looking as nice as the day you bought them. We have a shelf of antiques up here and some new pots for planting because it's the season. Oh, these are really great. Um, these little dish towels. I, I got these in because I fell in love with these bird designs. But just look at this blue bird or the blue jay. Isn't that gorgeous? These are awesome. Then I have some of the vintage mason, uh, or I guess canning jars. They're only mason jars if it's by mason. I have lots of baskets. We have tons of cards. Tons of art. Anything to make your home just a little more special. Some upholstered items. Then we have our basic dishware. I have the small side plates in pure white. And then I have the dinner plates in either gold edge or silver edge. Tons of cookbooks or other vintage books. We have a little bit of everything. And here's another one of those handmade uh, birdhouses. And this is sort of my brass section. I have a whole shelf of candle holders, oil lamps. Um, that's a bed pan. Uh, you put coals in it. I can't remember the proper name of it. And then we have some concrete fun stuff concrete skull by a local uh, maker a lot of fun there a little vase heart dave's at the desk and he's making noise he just apologized but there is more than just me here <laughs> then we have our barware we have some really fun, like, um, swizzle sticks or, like, stir sticks, robots or tiki heads. We have some cool bottle openers, some cool shakers. There's some pottery down there. And then, of course, we have our croc section. So I have tons of crocs and some cast iron. Then we kind of get into our mid-century modern section where we have our beautiful replica Eames chairs and they do have the matching uh, ottomans with them. It, it was just a little too tight here for them. So they're just over to the side, but we have them. They're in great shape, real leather with walnut 
uh, shells on the back and uh, bottom. Our cute little side tables. We have some really amazing Turkish towels from a Montreal company that are great. They're so soft and absorbent. We have our kind of scout or beaver section. And then we have our vintage oil lamps with the handles. And I have the citronella candle for when you're outside. And some Vagabond um, thermos. And these really old thermos. Oh, hello. Yeah, I came to say hi again. She's very curious why we're not doing construction anymore. Oh, I have these great like Harlequins, a fun little reed. And then we have our Nova Scotia hats. I know it's almost summer, but for anyone sending away a, a gift and some CBC, Hockey Night in Canada, some really great CBC um, beer glasses. And then, of course, some glassware. And I have my white, my green, and a little bit of yellow, or yellow down here, then blue, then multi white with multicolored designs. We have our throws and some more vintage quilts. So then we're back at the desk. And we have tons of baskets and pillows and blankets. And just back there will be our maker space, but it's still under construction. So that is um, just doored off for now. And those are closed to the public until we're done all the construction in there. We have our desk all set with old papers and notepads and more of Dean Martin's work. We have our soapstone and my larger crocs, our butter churn, the bathroom, and we're back at the cards. So we're really excited for everybody to come in and see everything in person. And we are trying our hardest to get everything priced. But if you do find something that isn't priced, I'll always give you a price. So, um, come in, say hi, just check it out. Even if you don't want to buy anything, that is so okay. I would just love you to come in and see what we've done. I'm very excited. Bye.